Have you ever found yourself in a situation at work where one of your colleagues, especially a female co-worker, goes behind your back and makes baseless allegations against you? It's an all too common experience for us men. Throughout our careers and even in our personal lives, we continually face the risk of such false accusations. The unfortunate reality is that men now live in fear of being unjustly fired due to unfounded claims made against them. Recent research has shed light on the repercussions of the Me Too movement, revealing that 20% of men hesitate to engage in private conversations or establish connections with their female co-workers. When asked about being alone with a woman in the workplace, a third or more men admitted that they would feel apprehensive. Why? simply because they don't want to be framed for any false allegations made by women. They fear the consequences and the potential loss of their livelihoods. In today's climate, it has become distressingly easy for women to jeopardize a man's career with a single email, call, or conversation with HR. Another disheartening truth is that, in the corporate world, men are presumed guilty until proven innocent. The burden of proof lies on us. And this constant fear is something that the majority of men carry. If a woman were to falsely accuse a man of harassment in the workplace, the consequences would be catastrophic. He would not only risk losing his job, but also his reputation, self-esteem, and future career prospects. It's no wonder that women hold a significant advantage over men in the workplace. This reality becomes clearer when we consider that 21% of men expressed hesitation in hiring a woman for a position that involves close interpersonal relationships, such as business travel. Additionally, 19% of men admitted to reservations about hiring a woman who is deemed conventionally attractive by society. These findings were derived from a survey conducted among employees across various industries. Interestingly, Previous surveys did not yield similar results, indicating that men were previously more at ease interacting with women in office settings. In the past, only 15% of men reported being less likely to hire women for positions involving close interpersonal interactions, compared to the 21% observed in the recent surveys. This shift in attitudes and behaviors is a direct response to the current social climate and the fear of false accusations. Men find themselves walking on eggshells, uncertain of how to navigate these dynamics and protect themselves from potential professional ruin. As we delve deeper into these issues, it becomes evident that finding a balance between fostering safe and respectful workplaces for all while avoiding the erosion of trust and opportunities for men is a complex challenge that must be addressed. Research consistently shows that men have a natural inclination to collaborate and form alliances with other men, avoiding working closely with women whenever possible. This phenomenon has become increasingly apparent in recent years, reflecting the cautiousness that men have developed. Men prefer interacting and cooperating with their male counterparts within the confines of cubicles, meeting rooms, and boardrooms. Why? Well, they find solace in the ability to schedule tasks efficiently, discuss ideas freely, and exchange vital information without the fear of compromising their hard-earned careers. It's a well-founded apprehension, considering how the current social climate tends to favor women's perspectives and readily believes their claims. Just one unfounded accusation can transform a man into society's villain, and that is a risk men cannot afford to take. Therefore, it's unfair to cast blame solely on men. They are simply reacting to the prevailing circumstances, especially in light of movements like Me Too. They are merely striving to protect their livelihoods, social status, and positions within society. Let's be clear here, men aren't the only ones terrified of the repercussions of interacting with women. Even women themselves tend to be less inclined to hire their female counterparts. Surprisingly, more than 10% of both men and women have been observed to exhibit a decreased inclination to hire attractive women, according to a recent poll. This inclination can be attributed to the general tendency of people to trust and believe attractive individuals more than those who lack physical beauty. 
popular culture perpetuates this bias. The truth of the matter is that the average modern woman, considered conventionally attractive, appears unattainable to many. In movies, regardless of their release dates, the lead characters are typically either the most attractive women or the most attractive men. These characters are portrayed as flawless, incapable of wrongdoing, and committed to upholding justice in society. On the other hand, the evil characters and villains are often depicted as aged, attractive individuals with disfiguring scars. It is no wonder that both men and women hesitate to hire attractive women. After all, if a woman were to make a false complaint against a man, society would immediately lean towards believing her. Additionally, men feel more self-conscious when attempting to flirt with a beautiful woman, as this dynamic has been ingrained in our societal norms throughout history. Men face significant challenges when it comes to dealing with the issue of harassment. Even innocent jokes made between male co-workers can be misconstrued as harassment, leading to accusations and HR investigations. The fear of being accused of harassment has made men cautious even about simple gestures like shaking hands with women, as they fear it could be misinterpreted. It sometimes feels easier to avoid physical contact altogether. The perception of acceptable and inappropriate workplace interactions has become distorted. However, an interesting study debunks the notion that men lack a clear understanding of what constitutes unacceptable behavior. Researchers examined 19 different tacks to determine whether they should be classified as harassment, such as sending explicit emails to subordinates. Surprisingly, both men and women largely agree on what qualifies as harassment, showing that most individuals are aware of the boundaries. One of the study's authors explained to the Harvard Business Review that it is inaccurate to suggest that men are oblivious to their inappropriate behavior, while women blow things out of proportion. In fact, women tend to define harassment more broadly than men. Most men are capable of distinguishing between a friendly hug and an unwelcome one. They understand what constitutes harassment. On the other hand, women may perceive any action as harassment. For instance, a line manager asking a subordinate or junior team member to stay late at the office for an hour could create a situation where the manager is seen on CCTV cameras giving instructions regarding a specific project. In such a scenario, the woman could potentially fabricate a story about being harassed, and unfortunately, HR might readily believe her. It's only logical that men would want to avoid situations where they could potentially jeopardize their entire careers by being alone with women. And as a result, women have begun protesting this exclusion. They no longer have to work harder on projects and pull all-nighters at the office because they know their positions won't be at risk. Instead, people prefer to ask men to stay late and work alongside them. Let's be honest, guys don't appreciate rumors and exaggerated reactions from women. Women also find themselves excluded from crucial team meetings where vital information is shared. For instance, if I had to discuss something privately with a co-worker in a small conference room, I would opt to go with a male colleague to avoid raising any eyebrows. This holds true not just in America, but also in Europe, England, and various other countries where the lingering consequences of the Me Too movement continue to impact the corporate sector. As long as women keep overreacting and falsely accusing men, as we often witness in the media, men will continue to steer clear of working closely with them. The workplace is no place for gossip and unnecessary drama, yet unfortunately, that seems to be what many women bring to the table. The reason why men might choose to distance themselves from working with women ultimately boils down to efficiency. Working alongside women can often hinder the progress of a task, as women tend to divert their focus from completing the job at hand and instead prioritize outperforming their colleagues to make a statement. What's more, women hold significant power and are backed by the law, which allows them to shame a man with a baseless complaint alone. In such an environment, it's no wonder that men would prefer to avoid working closely with women. And that's a wrap for today on Sigma Traits.
make sure you give that like button a massive high five, smash that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you can be the first to know when my new video drops. Make sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you soon.